Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you how to draw your small still life uh, real quickly and the correct way to do it. Um, so I picked this object. It's my little Wally -E toy. Now notice that I put it right at the top of my paper. That way uh, I don't have to look far from my paper to look at it. Now remember, the secret to drawing is you're following the edges of something and turning those into lines on the paper. So you want to do this slowly. One thing when I put an object like this in front of people is they think, well, that's too much to draw. And uh, that would be like if I put a, gave you a whole pizza and you said, well, I can't eat all that in one bite. No, you eat it a little bit at a time. Same thing when you're drawing. You do it a little piece at a time. So right now I'm just, oops, I'm just going to worry about the eye. Now, it's called a still life because it stays still. So things that move, like animals and people, they're not considered still lives. So uh, plants, uh, vegetables, objects, those are considered still lives. The word life means it's real life. I'm not drawing from a photograph, so do not draw from a photograph. You actually have to have the object in front of you. So I'm going to pick this point right here to start, and I'm going to start following that line slowly as it goes around and you want to draw very slowly at first now I see another contour line on the inside of that so I'm going to draw that Okay. then there's a little sort of circle bolt there this is only a line drawing so I'm not going to um, color or shade anything in. I'm just worried about looking for all the lines that I see. Now I'm going a little fast because I've been doing this for a long time so I have a little practice. Also your view of the toy is probably different than my view. Uh, that's called point of view. Uh, so my drawing may look a little off to you but that's because you're looking at it from a different angle than I am. But I'm drawing exactly what I see. So as I come to the next part of it, I draw the lines that I see. So now I'm on to this next part here. I'm going to draw that. comes around this way, comes down this way. I try not to erase. If I make a mistake, I just kind of leave it and keep moving on. Some people get very upset by that and want to erase. Some people erase too much and they just spend the whole time erasing their stuff. You want to try to avoid racing, erasing if you can. Because when you erase, it never really goes away, and it kind of tells people, oh, look, here, I made a mistake. So sometimes it's just better to leave the lines there. Now, there are lines created by, like, reflections and things, so I'm including those lines in there. So I finished that top part. Now I'm moving on to this next part where his sort of neck thing comes down. I'm drawing the lines that I see there. Now again, I'm going s a little faster than you should. When you're starting to do this at first, uh, you want to go slowly. And the more practice you have, the faster you can go. Okay. People always worry about what angle, like when something's three-dimensional. Um, one thing you can do is hold your pencil up and see what angle the lines are at. Close one eye and see what angle it's at to do that. So I'm at this point here, I'm drawing this front part here. I'm drawing that. There's some squares there. Come over here. And this line goes up there like that. And draw what you see, not what you think you see or what your brain, the voice in your head is telling you to draw. The voice in your head is the left side of your brain. It does not know how to draw and it's going to tell you, oh, that's wrong, it should be this way. Don't listen to that. That The left side of your brain does not know how to draw things. Okay, so you need to be almost like a, a robot, like Wally, -E, and just draw exactly what you see. Follow the lines that you see and draw what you see. Okay, so now I come over here, it goes like that. Okay, so I'm starting to do it. And then I could move over and start. Try not to jump around too much because then uh, the pieces of your drawing may not fit together. I try to go in sort of a logical order when I'm doing this. 
this. So again, I'm following the lines that I see. So right now I'm here and I'm following the lines of the sort of hand. Okay, so I'm not going to draw the whole thing, but you can see that my drawing actually looks like oh, the toy. Okay, if I can get them both in here, let's see. There we go. So you can see it actually looks like the toy that I was looking at. That was kind of the view I had. Okay. Now what happens with uh, people that don't know how to draw is they look at the toy for like a second and then they try and draw it from memory and they end up going, well, he had two eyes, he had a square body, he had arms, and you know, some wheelie things, and I don't know, that's why. And it ends up looking like that, okay? So even if you don't finish your drawing, if it looks like this, I mean, I can tell, anybody can tell, you actually, I actually looked at this and I actually drew what I saw. If I see this, then I know that person didn't really look at it, drew too fast, and didn't quite do it right. So I hope that helps you out with drawing your still life.